Let's have a look at the last Gauss Markov assumptions. So homoscedasticity and no serial correlation. What does homoscedasticity mean? That means a constant variance. So that means a constant variance. Implying that no matter how high our independent variables are going to be, so let's say for very high values of education, you know, even if we regress education starting from maybe five years of education until 20 years of education, although we increase the independent variable in our regression and we're reaching the value of, let's say, 20, the variance, the deviation of the actual values, the orange points and the pink line, the regression, is going to be pretty similar. So the difference goes pretty, pretty uniformly up and down, up and down along the line. So that means that the variation around the regression line is constant. We have a constant variance. Otherwise, if that would not be the case, look how it would look like. If that would not be the case, if when we have more education, we also have more variation in the results, look how that would look like. It's completely a different story because now we can see that the points around our regression are more dispersed for a specific range, namely for this range over here, for this range, for this cluster, we can see that, sorry, we can see that we have high variation in, uh, in, in the results. We see we have high variation in the wages, assuming that our, in the, our dependent variable are the wages, for high uh, values of years of education, meaning that when we have more years of education, we do not predict as accurately because we have something missing in the model that leads to having so much variation in the results. And we're going to discuss what could be the cause of it and what are the implications of it in future videos. But for now, hope this makes sense that we want to have a constant variance of um, a constant variance of the error term. So the variance, let's write it in math, the variance of the error term given an independent variable, given any independent variable, any independent value, is going to be constant, it's going to be a specific sigma squared. That's how we know the variance in statistics. Now, when we look at the no serial correlation, what is a serial correlation? That's a relationship of the error terms. That is correlation of error terms. That's what serial means, correlation of error terms. And I, I'm showing here on the right an example of correlation of error terms. Let's say again that we're sticking to our example of education and wages education and wages what we can notice is that for specific values of x of education let's say starting at three years of education until uh, let's call it i don't know 10 years of education we can see that we're having a positive difference between the actual value and the regression line so the error terms are positive starting from three years of education going to three and a half four, four and a half, and so on. It doesn't matter how we rank them. The idea is that knowing that we have positive error terms for three years of education, we can predict that we're also having positive error terms predicting above the line for four years of ed education, for five years, for six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then the error terms starts diminishing and starts becoming negative. So we'll have another relationship on this range where we start having negative error terms. We're predicting below the average line for 11 years of education. Actually, not 11, but it's going to be something like 12. But it doesn't really matter. For the sake of the example, just to understand that here we're already having the other direction of relationship. Um, we're predicting below the average line. And if we know that we're predicting below the average line for 12 years of education, we know we're going to predict it for 13 and then for 14 and so on because they are literally correlated and we do not want that because visually we can see that this is not a line this is not a linear fit we see that we are missing a quadratic term in in our regression and in future videos again we're going to discuss when this could happen and how to control for it and i hope this makes sense so far and we are done